Well, good evening, everyone. How's it going? Sean here with another Genetry Solar video, and I uh, got a little extra time here, so I'd like to uh, do a load test on this inverter. It's not going to be anything super dramatic, but um, I am going to load test this uh, inverter. Um, I have a window air conditioner. It's 14,000 BTU, and it typically pulls between 1,200 and 1300 watts when it's running and the surge is between five and ten times I haven't quite figured out what the surge is yet, but it's a uh, quite a quite a knock to the system now my uh, My big 15k inverter here has absolutely no problem starting it um, So we're gonna see just if this inverter here will start it at all I'm gonna do this two different ways number one. I'm gonna follow the extension cord i've got a 12 2 extension cord that i'm running um, i'm going to run all the way down to the other end of the house and i'm going to start it and we'll see if it starts okay and you'll be able to tell if the inverter isn't capable it'll hesitate and if you go way back on my videos on my other channel i had a 8000 watt power jack inverter that would not start this air conditioner without a run start capacitor I no longer have a run start capacitor on it, so we'll see how well this 5 kilowatt inverter does. Anyways, let's get to it. So there's the extension cord, and we'll go ahead and follow it all the way, all the way. And it is plugged in right now. Now, this isn't a, you'd never want to run an air conditioner of this size on an extension cord ever. You need a special air conditioning extension cord, but this is just for demonstrations, just for testing, and this is just my cat always wanting to be in the picture. So, um, it should, because I've had it plugged in for about five minutes now, it should automatically attempt to start the compressor. It does have a fail safe on there like most air conditioners do where if it loses power then it won't activate the compressor for about five minutes or so let's go ahead and see if it'll start it and it did without hesitation whatsoever it's on cool now if it was unable to start then this light would go dim, it would either click on, click off, click on, click off, and eventually it would just give up. And then it wouldn't run at all. So, yep, the air is nice and cold. There was absolutely no hesitation whatsoever. Let's go ahead and leave that running. Me and the cat, we will go ahead and follow this extension cord all the way back all the way back to the workroom all the way up here and we're looking at about that right there that's the EMA EMI that I was talking about before okay so that's we have fixed that in the final version but all it is is basically data that's being jargled a little bit you can see though that it is running about 1300 watts Transformer's definitely getting warm. I can smell it. That's the heat coming off the transformer. The fan is running now. But it is running. And the fan went off. So it must be able to manage. Let's go ahead and... Yep. Temperatures are still nice and solid as far as that goes um so yeah i mean it's uh it seems to be doing pretty good like i said temperatures are pretty solid the the blip there that you see where the negative is at again that's the ema emi related interference um it's not affecting the performance of the inverter it's just on the display where it's showing up something that uh is actually different so no it's actually doing really really well and I'm curious, <laughs> this is where I will actually legitimately step back for you guys um, because I'm actually going to turn on that air conditioner over there as well 
because I'm curious to see here's my remote for that air conditioner I suppose I should probably kick the cat out I'm legitimately curious to see and I'm gonna back up because you know what happens when these things pop I've got a what a 1400 watt load on that right now I'm gonna go ahead and start my other air conditioner and that should throw another four or five kilowatt surge in there and it started it without hesitation absolutely no problem starting it so that's a good thing it is over there running temperatures are still still okay so see what our load almost 2,000 watts right now almost okay now I am gonna do something that may actually finally put an end to this inverter <laughs> I know it sounds funny and I'm actually gonna be uh, I'm going to be pausing the video for just a second so that I can put on my ear protection. Alright, so ear protection is on. And uh, basically what I'm going to do, my, uh, my printer is actually right here. This is a laser printer and it is running on this strip that I have right here. So while I've got a 2 kilowatt load going right now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the switch on my strip, okay? Now, the air conditioner is still running. Both air conditioners are still running, actually. I'm going to go ahead and hit this switch, which will start the laser printer, and I'm going to go ahead and back up, and there goes my cat. Yeah, let's do this. Here we go. Wow, can you guys hear that? Laser printer started just fine. With all that that's going on, the laser printer started just fine. Yep, it sure did. That is awesome. That is totally awesome. This thing will handle a whole bunch of surge. It will handle the surge, and that is that's what I like to see. That's what I like to hear. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the video off here. This is just a quick, non-scientific demonstration. I got two big window air conditioners running, and I'm drawing about 2,000 watts right now. 2,000 watts. Two big window air conditioners running, had no problem starting the, uh, the laser printer while all that was going on. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do some more tests later on. I just wanted to do this quick test for you to show you that this inverter can handle the surge while things are running perfectly fine. This is a very capable inverter as it is right now. Again, Sid has hopefully worked out all the uh, the bugs with the EMI um, so that will not be present in a production run so we are um, we're happy about that so anyway all right everyone um, I wish you the best um, and as always take care